Hi, in this video, I will be talking about um, attempting the Minecraft Hour of Code coding. So hopefully, if this is what you're looking for, you'll find some solutions to the um, problems by watching this video. And you'll also be able to learn how to attempt these. And uh, I hope you try them on your own. I can walk you through a few. I'll actually be doing all the 14 exercises here but uh, you can watch the first two or three and then maybe you can attempt on your own and um, learn how to code basically so this is going to be helpful so all you need to do to be able to get to it is go to studio.code.org that site has a bunch of coding uh, programming things you can learn from so let's start with the minecraft as that's a lot of um, that has a lot of interesting things and all you need to do is click on this try now and it takes you to the page that has so you can just say try now and start coding so the first thing as you can see it's just a from character we can choose one of these characters i'm going to go with alex no. So it says puzzle one, add a second move forward command to reach the sheep. This sounds easy, right? So all you need to do in this puzzle one is add a second move forward command to reach the sheep. Now what we are trying to attempt here, as you can see, we picked a character, Alex. This character is standing here in this square box. Um, these are all tiles. Each is one. Each green box is one box. So when you say move forward, it will move into the next box, and so on and so forth. So now, what you need to do to understand this, and what you're trying to achieve here, is you have Alex who's facing the sheep. So you don't have to change the position or anything. All you need to do is there's two green boxes. The reason I say two is because these are grids right like these are square boxes so there are two square boxes if you look closely there's a light green box and then a dark darker green box so there's two green boxes now we need to step over onto those two and then you can get to get to the sheep so let's try that so what do you need now there's this is on the right hand side you have all the coding on the left hand side is the actual game itself so it says when you when run means basically when you start when you start what you want to do is you want to move forward remember these are like tiles that you're like uh, instructions you're giving one after the other okay and the computer will simply do whatever instructions you instruct it to do so this is move forward there's one move forward but remember there's two boxes in here two squares so we need two move forwards okay so i'm going to attach these two and that's it and that should get you to the sheep and to run the program you go back on the left hand side and there is this run button once you have your code in here you just run it okay so when you run it this the computer will go through these steps and do what you're asking it to do so all you're asking it to do is just do move forward move forward right let's run it now i'm gonna click on run perfect we did the job right we moved forward we reached the sheep so it says puzzle one completed congratulations good job so now we only had to write two simple lines of code so that's basically programming and it is that easy so i do encourage everyone to continue and attempt these exercises they're really helpful and this will really get you introduced to programming we can do a replay or we can continue let's move on to the second one now what is the challenge here right the challenge it says wood is a very important resource many things are made from it walk to the tree and use the destroy block command to chop it down so very easy so in the first one we we did the walking we took the two steps in this one you have to take the two steps or how many ever steps and you need to destroy block give another command like destroy block okay so let's try that so let's try so when here's these are the possible options what you see in between here the blocks these are the possible blocks you can do these are the only things that's possible the computer can understand so you have to use these commands to make it so we're going to first move forward why do i choose move forward because as you can see the alex or this character is here this is the tree okay 
and there are two boxes in between so you definitely need to take two steps and then chop the tree so when i say you need to take two steps move forward once you can these are um, you can drag it one more time so move forward twice and uh, should I move forward three times? No, I don't need to. If you make the mistake, you can just drag it back out and it will delete it. And uh, we don't, we just need to move two steps and then we need to do the destroy block. Remember, that will destroy the uh, object that is in that block, which is the tree. And that's how we will get our wood, which is a very important resource, right? Should we try running it? Let's try running it. I'm going to click run on this left hand side. Okay, that did it. So that was the challenge number, the puzzle number two. Now it says, uh, congratulations, you, you just wrote three lines of code. Perfect, let's continue. Now puzzle three, sheep shearing time. Use the shear command to gather wool from both the sheeps. Okay, let's look. So this is the farm, as you can see. Now our task is to get to both the sheep and take the wolf, uh, take the wolf from them, right? Shear them. So let's do this. Um, so what what you want to always remember is what side or how you how this character is facing. Right now the character is facing the sheep over here, one of the sheep, right? So we can simply take two steps and get to one of the sheep. So what we want to do is take one step, take two step, and then share. That would get you to the one sheep. But then there is another sheep you need to get to. For that sheep, you actually need to turn right. So we need to turn right because we need to make the character turn right to get to the sheep. Turn right, move forward, and share. Let's try this and I'll explain it again. So move forward, share that, turn right, move forward, share. That was it, we did it. So we got the world and that was it. So it is as simple as, um, let's replay again. So just to show you what exactly I did here. Um, as you can see, when you press the run button, the computer highlights what command it's doing, right? So let's do run again. Share and then turn right, move forward, share. So that was it. So two step forward, share the shape and then um, turn right, share and move forward and share the shape again, right? So how many, you wrote six lines of code, congratulations. That was puzzle number three, perfect. Um, definitely think I would encourage you guys to try this. It's really fun. It's like playing a game as well as coding at the same time. So um, let's take a look at puzzle four. There are 14 puzzles here. We'll get through all 14 of them. But let's look at puzzle four. Puzzle four says we need to build a house before the sun goes down. Houses require a lot of wood. Cut down all three woods. Basically, you need to cut down all three woods. Now, this is the character here. This is the player, right? So, which are the trees? There's one tree, two tree here, and then there's another third tree, right? So, let's... They have already given us some commands over here. Let's see what do these commands do. Actually, we can just run. If we are wrong, we get the chance to recorrect it. So, there are, it comes with a couple of commands done. Let's see what happens if we just run that. Move forward, move forward, move forward. Destroy. Turn left, move forward. Mm, you must use the command to destroy each of the three days. So this was like what we have currently just does this much of the job and it stops. But we still have two more trees. So we still have to take two more forward steps, cut the tree, that is destroy the block, turn left, take three steps, right? If you look at the, just look at what you need to do. First think about what you need to do and then you can write the code for it right just think logically first like if you were that person what exactly you need to do and that's give those same instructions to the computer so at this point we have instructions that will make the person uh, the character turn but then they need 
they move forward one step but they still have to move forward two steps so i'm going to add two more move forwards and then i'm going to add destroy now it needs to turn left so let's make it turn left and then i think it needs to take three steps according to the number of squares in between and then destroy the block again and that should do the job let's try if it does reset it let's see let's see if i'm right or wrong here okay perfect awesome that was it congratulations it did the job right perfect we are done now and um that is it so we completed puzzle four um you could try these puzzles again i'm also going to continue making more videos on puzzle 5 through 14. Uh, please click the next video to watch and continue watching and uh, do share with your friends and family